There it's Tim and today I come to you in Vancouver, not Victoria. I'm at Fully Charged with famous Michael behind the camera. We're going to go through the Fully Charged show all the way through, check it out, see what's new in the world of electric and we're sporting Tim's electric everywhere. Let's go inside and take a look. First off, we hit the test track and we tried this Penguin pickup to you, which was extraordinary. Basically, it's like an attached trailer for an e-bike with a removable box that was amazing. I can see something like this being used by couriers that go into the city, do their local deliveries, and then return to base. They wheel off the box, which is super easy to do, and then wheel on a prepared box ready to go. Very cool engineering pretty simple to ride around and actually you didn't even really notice it was behind you when you were riding it around <laughs> that was fun you know what you don't even notice the uh the trailer behind you in fact you kind of forget it's there except you can hear some of the banging around but plenty of power so this is the p100 s segway single motor mechanical brakes uh not as fast as I thought it was gonna be, but not bad. So EVs behind me here, very kindly just mentioned, this is the InMotion Air Pro. I, I've done the Climber, I've done the InMotion S1, I've done another InMotion, which I forget right now. Um, it looks very similar to the S1 in some respects. Single motor by the look of it, one mechanical brake. Let's give it a whirl. Cute little bell. I did that on drive mode. I'm just gonna try sport mode and see if it's a little bit quicker. Yeah, that's a lot faster. Yeah, I like that. This is really interesting. You know, like it's got the protection from the elements at the front. You can hop out on the side. It has the mirrors on the sides. It's sort of a bit of a work in progress there. It looks like they're gonna make some changes. The battery, I'm suggesting it's gonna probably be a bit bigger, a little bit more power. But what's really interesting, it has the automatic transmission. So at the beginning, you think it's gonna be pretty slow. And you'll see here, as I start pedaling, it automatically changes the gears, which actually makes it really quite functional. And so here we go. I'll go back towards Michael. That's fun. A huge special thank you to Michael for coming all the way to Vancouver, filming and hanging out and trying all these different things. It was an absolute blast. Thank you, Michael. Neil, thank you very much for taking the time. This is the Ibu. Am I saying that right? The first Ibu bike is going to be the model is the Boreal, which is okay. a, which is a uh, Quebec owl. <laughs> a Boreal owl. Perfect. So the, the model, the bike company is Ibu. The model is the uh, Boreal. That's lovely. So what I'm looking at here looks like a terrific last mile solution for deliveries. I'm um, thinking like courier companies, probably exactly. a bit big for food, but I'm thinking courier companies. What other things have you found work really well so, for this? So commercial last, uh, last mile delivery is the intended uh, key market. Okay. Um, but yeah, it absolutely, you could throw a pizza oven on here if you wanted. <laughs> yeah. Or, or uh, somebody was talking about doing and wanting to do a mobile coffee shop out of that. The uh, cargo sure, box yeah. ice could cream. be removed. I'm and thinking put ice cream. Wanted. I'm thinking ice cream might be a good option. Uh, so we've got these look like mechanical brakes, not or maybe they're hydraulic. They're hydraulic. They're hydraulic, hydraulic. Okay. Yep. hydraulic. And we've got a big great discs. big motor at the back. Yep. Uh, what do we hear? Like 500, 750, something like that. Uh, peak, peak. It'll put out over a thousand watts. Perfect. But, but you know, rated 500. <laughs> rated 500. Oh, right. Because we're in Canada, we have to. Right. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, battery. Where's the battery? Where are the batteries? The batteries are inside the cargo oh, box. Plural. And yes, plural. All right. You want to be able to use it for multiple days. Oh, wow. Days. Okay. So they look like, what, about 15 amp hour, 48 19. volts? Oh, they're 19s. Nin so that's, 19. so dual 19s, 38 amp hours, 48 volts? Yeah. 48 volts, so you have plenty of watt hours. I can't so. do the math, but it seems like it'll be a lot. <laughs> Almost 2,000 watt hours, I guess. Yeah, I think I'd like to try this and just give it a whirl. Whoa. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. <laughs> Takes two times. There you go.
Oh yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of like riding a bike. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. <laughs> it took me a sec, but I figured it out now. It's all good. So, this is really interesting. Like, as a last mile solution, it's a little tricky to get used to that first couple of corners, but after a couple of corners, I, I it was totally fine. I think that maybe just a little on the weaker side power-wise, but it's got such, it's got two batteries. It's got 38 amp hours of batteries, so two 19 amp hour batteries. You're gonna be riding this thing, you be able to ride this all day long. So, it is kind of unusual. I think it's really smart. The show floors had a variety of cars and trucks, micro cars, e-bikes, charging solutions, and multiple talks on a variety of stages that really meant that there were a variety of topics being covered, and I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm here with Nick from Geo, and this is a really cool looking scooter. All electric, right? Yep. Uh, this is the Geo Ultra? It, Italia, Italia Ultra. Ultra yeah. <laughs> it, of course it's Italian. Italia Ultra. And you can see some of these sort of, you know, that Vespa look about it. It's kind of cool looking design. Full color up front. All electric. Big battery in the seat. That's How right. big's the battery? It's 60 volts and 20 amp hours. 60 volts, 20 amp hours. Yep. Top speed. Approximately. For, for a big guy. For a big guy, you're looking at about 40, maybe 45 kilometers per hour. Perfect. But uh, with the person, my body, approximately 80 kilograms of in weight. In shape, person like yourself? Well, I would <laughs> say I'm in shape, but yeah, sure. Um, so myself, I get it up to 50 kilometers on the flat, no problem. Perfect. What about on hills? Hills, uh, it does, so the motor on this one is 800 watts. Okay. So it's not as powerful as, for example, on the other one. So uh -huh. it does slow down on the hills, but I got it at approximately 32, 35, going uh, about 20 degree hill. Also, and are you Vancouver based? Yes. So oh, we, okay. our first uh, Geo dealership, official yep. one, just opened in July at 202 West Broadway, Vancouver. Uh -huh. So this is where I am. So this is where everything is coming from. Now, Nick's been selling a whole bunch of these, and I think there's a really good reason for that. It looks, I haven't ridden one of these. I've ridden Vespas in the past, you know, those old smelly Vespas, but they're so much fun. There's something about having the two wheels, big comfy seat, and just sitting back and riding around. I've ridden around in Victoria a few times with beautiful scenery, I love it. But to have the electric option, so how do you do it when you get home? Do you take the battery out and carry it inside or is there a plug? So uh, everybody comes with a plug which is built in this case in here. And then it comes with a regular charger, so it takes regular 110. Okay. So yeah, here's the idea, is that you ride it during the day and then you leave it charging overnight. And just trickle charge it. About eight hours, you're gonna be back to full charge probably for regular commuters. Hydraulic brakes. Front and rear. Uh, front and rear hydraulic brakes. I don't know, this kind of, an IP rating, so like you've ridden it in the rain, no problem? No problem, it's rated IP45, so. It looks really cute. Thank you, Nick. Pleasure to meet you. Cheers. That's really smooth. Is it big guy approved? I'm gonna have to do a full review of this later. Maybe get one out into Victoria, do Vancouver Island, you know, boot around Victoria. If you wanna see that video, give me a heads up. Put it down in the comments down below. I want to say a special thank you to Fully Charged for inviting Michael and I to come and do, you know, come and check it out. I, um, I've i actually watched Robert and Imogen's videos and Jack, they're all super people. I got to meet a couple of them today. They were wonderful in person. Uh, some of the presentations were wonderful. You know, we got to test drive a fun moped. That was a hoot. I think, you know, even just coming here on the fast ferry, it, the whole day was a delight. Have any questions? Put it down. If you love this type of content, make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Uh, industry event. Yeah. <laughs> How did we get invited? <laughs>